All right then. Uh, the fact that all we have nine HP is really sinking in right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully nothing punches you to death. <laughs> Onyx was definitely doing probably about 18 or more every attack. Yeah, I mean, I'd expect if one of us got hit by an Onyx that we'd go True. unconscious. True. You you would just die. I don't think I don't think too many of us are gonna be able to take too many shots from a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> we really got to, Yeah, your Eevee's gonna be pulling a lot <laughs> of hours protecting us until we get our starters, I think. Well fortunately right. we can like... just we've got the ride from the <laughs> officer. Uh mm -hmm. I don't know, we never got their name. So we'll at least be safe. Oh, yeah. Cause you know, cars are far safer than trains. Are they? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, yeah, so you guys, just a little recap. Pokemon proficiency exam, you did pass. Uh, you bought some Arbox uh, coffee. Um, you were forcibly ejected from the seats of the train back to Viridian. Uh, yeah, battled an Onyx using some railroad Pokemon. Um, released those said Pokemon, and on the walk back out of the cavern, or the I guess it would be the tunnel, uh, discovered an offshoot a little cave that used to be an onyx nest. Um, you acquired an onyx egg. I believe one of you is carrying that. Um, yeah. So you're pretty the sure answer. it's yeah. They're, you're pretty sure it's dead. Um, then uh, you decided to go to the media with this discovery, but then you were kind of deliberating what to do with it. Mm -hmm. um, you were driven back to Viridian by uh, I think you would have gotten her name. Her name's Officer Jenna. Um. <laughs> And then you went to Torchic Filet, discussed plans to threaten the police or post info on uh, Reddit, mm -hmm. or what, what did we decide to call it? Uh, uh, was it Rowlet? Oh, 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 the, there's a, the Twitter one was... Peck yeah, I don't know if we made a decision for uh, Reddit, though. Maybe yeah, not. Yeah, I think we were just calling it Poker Reddit. Yeah, Poker Reddit. Me makes sense. Um, Ruffler. Ruffler. <laughs> yeah, Ruffler. That's right. That's right. Um, but yeah, uh, after that, you settled on some light pre-bedtime B&E. Uh, rolled woolly well in those stealth checks, thief stools, <laughs> got inside the gym, oh, yeah. uh, and acquired one Eevee, your singular Pokemon, before uh, heading off to bed. Now, I have actually made an actual map this time. Uh, I kind of guessed your sleeping arrangements. There is actually another bunk bed, but like you can't see it because the wall's there. Um, so kids sleeping on that one. Uh, Milo, yeah, I don't know what you whatever. would be. Yeah. yeah if you guys Milo prefer top or bottom bunk, but. <laughs> yeah, there's not top or bottom. <laughs> he got definitely would not fight, and I feel like V would be like top bunk. That's so kind of what I figured, took, yeah. He just took the bottom bunk without, <laughs> you know, even making it a question because he doesn't care. That's fair, that's fair. In which case, um, I want to start off in the morning. So we're going to start with you, Milo. Now, a lot happened yesterday, mm -hmm. to say the least. Um, it was a day. It was a day. And the relatively simple bed that you're sleeping on is actually really comfortable. Um, you remember that your dad used to say hunger makes the best meal and exhaustion makes the best pillow? And you're groggily thinking to yourself that you kind of get it. Um, but you're slowly coming to and you wake up to the sound of buzzing. You're pretty sure that's your phone. The buzzing isn't new necessarily but what is new is the sound of a soft thump from somewhere above you and then closer to you and as you peel open one eye you see two things number one is your phone laying on the edge of your bed um, and ivory v's evie who has jumped down to your bed for the explicit purpose of bapping the phone screen <laughs> until it's silenced <laughs> Um, and then after this is done, you see she flicks her tail, like, in annoyance, and then pounces back up, um, onto the bedside table, and then, a little bit less gracefully, up to the top bunk. You, like, see her little kicks, legs kicking for a moment, um, and then she mm -hmm. finally manages to get up there, presumably to curl up somewhere 
next to V. He'll uh, sort of just watch as Ivory struggles their way up. Morning. Uh, and then grab his phone. And he'll answer it. Hello? Um, you see that actually there's there's no answer because <laughs> I've already <laughs> hung up for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> you look, you, you say hello, and then you're like, no answer. And you look up and you see that you have... <laughs> Yeah, you have about, like, five missed calls from your mom. Oh, no. Uh... <laughs> and you think, maybe this is not the first time Ivory has jumped down to <laughs> reject kind of phone calls. And he gets up. Is anybody else awake? Like, what time would it be? Uh, I would say it's about, like, 8 a.m.-ish. <laughs> we need to... If it's 8, we that's when we were supposed to meet the police officer. Well, yeah, that's true. What? It, wait, is that what I said? We'll yeah, say it's seven. We'll say it's there, seven. She's gonna be there at eight a.m. That's fair. We'll we'll roll it back an hour. Let's say uh, seven for now, because I feel like Milo would be the type to get up a little bit earlier. Oh yeah, he normally is up uh, with dawn, and like his morning routine would be to yes. stretch and then go for a run. Incredible! How dare you? Terrible. Anyway, yeah, it's like it's like seven. It's like it's like six fifty-five. He like he takes a few minutes to stretch and just sort of work out the kinks, and then he'll pick up his phone and he'll leave the room and just sort of. Is there anybody out in like the little common area over here? Uh, no, there's nobody out in the common area yet. Just find a comfy seat, and he'll call mom. Okay. Uh, it rings a couple of times and then finally picks up immediately. Immediately, you hear your mother's voice. I would say it's more frazzled than usual, but, like, you're pretty used to her being frazzled in the first place. So, <laughs> immediately, you just get, Milo? Milo? Please tell me you're alive. I'm, I'm alive, Mom. Oh, thank God. Then... Thank Arceus. What? What? Milo? What in the world is happening? I got a call last night from the police. I saw, and then I turned on the news, and I see that the... The train? Something happened to the train? What is happening? Are you okay? Do you have any broken bones? Do you have a concussion? Do you need to go to the hospital? Because I will drive up there. No, 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 no. Um, I'm fine. Are I'm you sure? Have you been? It. Have you been checked out by a doctor? <laughs> yeah. The the there were emergency services outside of the accident. It was it it wasn't as bad as the news made it out to be. It it really wasn't. We just sort of got derailed. I got. Bumped around a little bit. V oh. got knocked unconscious. And... Oh, knocked unconscious? Does oh. V need to go to the hospital? Are you, are you serious, Rita? Where are you? No, no, no. no. We we're in Viridian. We're at the Pokemon <laughs> City in Viridian City. And actually, uh, we 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 have we have an appointment for Officer Jenna to drive us down to Pallet. I was gonna tell you all this in person so you could, uh, yeah. Oh. See that I was okay. I just I, I just okay. didn't want you to worry, and I think I should have probably called um but it was just a really busy day and well you are absolutely correct milo you should have called you know i i understand that you're you really want to go on this journey i re i really do i really do but my heart can't take this much milo really just please because i was up until 3 a.m and the news the news really did make it out to, I, I mean how does a train even get derailed that's a completely new train line what did it did it they made it seem like it hit something that there was uh... some rock i think some rocks fell on the tracks or were knocked onto the tracks and it oh, derailed things good 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 yes that's it, a normal yeah. thing i yep. mean it 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 wasn't good it was definitely not <sighs> not good but we made it through we're fine uh neither one of us were harmed at all and we made a new friend and passed our our Pokemon exams. We have our provisional licenses. Oh, good. Yes, now you can go out and get into even more dangerous situations. Yes, that's great. That's fantastic. Congra no, no, I really am. I'm, I'm really, really so proud of you. That's fantastic, honey. That's, 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 that's really good. Okay, okay. Sorry. I'm just, you know, the adrenaline is dropping, so okay. We'll All probably right. be home by noon, so why don't I plan to meet you back at the apartment? And I can introduce you to our new friend, Kid. And you can see that me and V are totally A-OK. -okay, and that we can we can handle this. And you can take a nap. 
<laughs> and it gives you time to rest. You know, get 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 some sleep, mom. Everything's okay. And All right. I'm fine. All right. And, yeah. I will trust you because that's what I have to do. As a mother, as you get older, and don't call me immediately after an emergency. That is something that I have to put up with. Okay. The police the police said that they were they were going to let you know and and they did. They, 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 could, they did. But they did call they, me at 11 p.m. and started off the conversation with, so there has been a train accident and your child was involved. <laughs> so you can imagine how well that went over. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that, that would be rough. <laughs> all right. Sorry, no, yeah, no, I'll, it's all right, honey. Next time, it's all right. next time I'm in a train accident, I'll call you immediately to let you know that I'm okay. Good, 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 good. Okay, good. Promises, promises. Okay. All right. Um, I will see you when you get back here. I'll make sure to make something. All right. Yes, uh, we, we do have, like I said, a new friend, so one more at the table. Yep, yep. No, right. no problem. Looking forward to meeting them. All right. Thanks, Oof. Mom. Love you. Okay. Love you too, honey. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> she just kind of trails off. <laughs> with... Hang up the phone, and he'll just kind of deflate into the chair like, oh, why does everything have to hurt? <laughs> Because he still hurts. <laughs> yeah, you probably do feel pretty sore. You guys were running on, like, the first bed of adrenaline and the second set of adrenaline for a while yesterday, so, yeah. It's coming to catch up to you. He still will spend the rest, or the, probably the next half an hour, doing a light jog around Viridian. Just okay. nothing strenuous, but okay. he still will get some morning exercise before everyone wakes up. Okay, sure. Yeah. Um, just for funsies, can you roll me, like, a constitution check? Yeah. <laughs> because you are you are quite sore, yeah. You come okay. back feeling yeah, a little bit, good. yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. I guess it's up to you guys. Who do you think would wake up? So Milo wakes up first, but like who of between <laughs> Kid and V? I feel like you're both no. pretty late sleepers, but <laughs> there is still only an hour, and I presume Milo only goes for like you know running for about thirty minutes. You'd say, or yeah, it's twenty thirty minutes, not long at all. Okay. Milo would need to wake V up if he wants him up. <laughs> if you're probably kid, then. His kid's a pretty, like, physically active dude, so... He sleeps in, but he would probably get up before somebody that has to be woken up. I would <laughs> assume. <laughs> okay. Yeah, then, uh, kid, you wake up. Um... It's up to you uh, exactly <laughs> whether you're not a, whether or not you're a morning person, but you do see that kind of across the room on the same level as you because, um, well, I don't know. Do you sleep on the top bunk or the bottom bunk? Oh, uh, man, bunk beds too. Because if I'm in bunk beds, I'm absolutely going to be on the top bunk. Okay, yeah. Then um, immediately, like kind of across the room from you on the same level, you see V curled up and you see V's EV ivory kind of like curled up in the crook of I don't know how you would call it when you're like sleeping curled up and your dog gets like kind of in your lap but sideways <laughs> <laughs> yep yep but yeah other than that you don't see Milo and the room is nicely lit from the morning sun what you doing uh probably gonna try to slide out a bit and more than likely forget that he is on the top bunk and fall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Roll me a dex saving throw. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey guys, another seven and you win the lottery. Right? <laughs> um, yeah, you, you, you do fall. Um, I would say also your phone falls with you and clatters down onto the floor. Probably develops <laughs> another thing. crack, but um, it also lights up and you see you do have also one single text message from your dad. <laughs> Just an audible... Oh, and then it'll look at his phone. Okay, it's nothing. It's nothing uh, serious. It's just a text message from your dad, or maybe it's in the family group chat. I don't know how your family, you whatever you imagine, but it basically reads like, "Hey, kiddo, how was the test? Heard something about a train?" Question mark. <laughs> kiddo just sent back. It was good. Train wreck. I'm fine. That's all it's in. Okay. <laughs> Eventually you get a text message back that's like, I, 
probably won't tell your mom. <laughs> I just appreciate it, Dad. <laughs> right. No big deal. And yeah, he sends you <laughs> back like another text that's like, yeah. "Oh, congrats on passing, etc." Uh, have fun. Let us know if you need anything. And he'll just pocket his phone as he's getting dressed. Probably gonna go look for Milo to see if everything's cool, because there was a train wreck, and the two people that was in the wreck with him, one of them is not here, so just peek out, <laughs> look around, just to see. Okay. Uh, yeah, you peek out and look around um, this main area, and it looks like nobody else is uh, getting up. Uh, you do hear a voice uh, softly from this room. Now, I know it looks like it's just a yawning void, but there is a door in this room. Um, it's closed, but you hear, like, somebody's voice from behind this door, kind of muffled. You can't hear what they're saying. They might be talking on the phone. Um, but, I don't know, would Milo be back at this point? Walking back upstairs, or what do you think? He'd probably get back around 7.30, if he got up at 7. Okay. And just get back with enough time to wake V up and give V 10 to 15 minutes to wake up before we have to meet the okay. officer. And then he can stall the officer for time you know, for V to get ready. <laughs> nice. Excellent. All right. Uh, in which case, uh, kid, you're upstairs and you're still kind of an alone. Would you like to go downstairs? Well, if I heard a voice, he's going to go check. Like, he's going to assume <laughs> that it's Milo, so he's not even going to knock. He's going to try to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I would say probably the door doesn't unlock because it's probably locked as there's an occupant. Um, but as you jiggle it, there's a pause and then you hear the voice cut off and a couple of seconds later there is a couple of footsteps and then the door unlatches, unlocks, and you see an unfamiliar person pop out to meet you. It is a girl and she is wearing like skitty headphones slash <laughs> speakers question mark and she just pops out um and just looks at you very qu quizzically and goes yes is this an emergency who are you he's just kind of like a little confused just uh sorry I thought you were one of my new friends no Emergency? No. Was was? Have you seen? Have you seen a little dude? And he'll kind of hold his hand out, like around Milo's height. <laughs> um, she kind of looks at you, raises an eyebrow, and just goes, "Hmm. Well, I mean, I've seen lots of little dudes, but probably haven't seen your friend. You doing okay? Got a bit of some khaki shorts." Yeah, no, I haven't seen any of those little dudes. Oh, wait. Hmm. I saw a little dude like that yesterday at Celadon. So you're probably in the wrong city. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I'm recording. Bye. Nice to meet you. And then she kind of, like, closes the door and gets back inside. <laughs> All right, weird. Didn't know we had streamers in Pokemon World, but... <laughs> He'll be like, all right, appreciate it, I guess. And he'll start making his way downstairs. <laughs> yeah, right. Stranger and stranger. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, you make your way downstairs. Uh, and let me just reveal that part for you guys as well. I don't even know where I put his token. I just stuffed it up to the side. You, you did a really good job here. hiding it, actually. Um, a little bit of health bar over here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, um, you make it uh, back downstairs and the Pokemon Center looks approximately as you guys have left it. Uh, Nurse Joyce is still at the counter with- Official a, Joyce Art. Yeah, official Joyce he, he did work all night. He looks like he's like, uh, you know, nursing a cup he, of coffee. He lives, <laughs> he lives here, yeah, he does. <laughs> There's a little cot for him under the desk. Um, God, yeah. But yeah, you go back downstairs, and there's not a lot of people in here. I would say probably Milo's still not back yet, and the only sounds you hear are the TV over here is playing a news report, actually. But... Huh. So, 
the you said the nurse has been working all night tired how do they react this kid comes sliding down the rail because he's definitely just gonna slide down the rail. we're kids he's, he's absolutely playing into that <laughs> <laughs> he's he, he's literally like nurse joyce is just literally leaning an elbow on the table has a coffee cup in the other and he glances over at you and just kind of sighs and goes please don't do that <laughs> That's expensive. He's gonna, yeah, I'm, pr- I'm probably going to keep doing that, and he's just going to go check out what's on the TV. Is it is it more news about the train wreck, or...? Yeah, yeah. Um, you walk over to the TV, and there's a news clip showing a familiar-looking tunnel entrance, actually. Um, it's, like, surrounded by ambulances and police vehicles, kind of similar to what you saw yesterday, but when you came out last night, it was already dark. This is showing, like... A slightly lighter sky, which makes you think that the news crew came in there before you guys had actually walked out. Um, there's also some footage of the train lit up by headlamps of the crew and then tailed by a couple of police officers who both have um, brightly glowing Jolteon in police vests trotting at their hip. Um, Hell yeah. And then there's like a little... Police yeah, <laughs> police Jolteon. Um... There's a news woman, yeah, there's like a newscaster speaking, just going like, The self line running from Celadon City en route to Viridian City experienced an emergency stop yesterday after what appears to have been a rock slide in the tunnel. Thus far, no deaths have been reported, but several passengers have been taken to the hospital for minor injuries. Authorities are currently investigating the incident and following up what the experts have determined to have likely been a Pokemon attack that has come from inside the tunnel. Um... And then the video cuts to an interview clip of a man in a dark navy suit with, like, golden embroidery, really fancy, on the collar. And the name, title, underneath that in a little ticker tape, uh, reads, A Doug Triol. Um, with the name spelled like this. Hold on. <laughs> a Doug, uh, Doug Triol, uh, chief executive of the Kanto Railway Association. Um, you've never seen this guy, but he looks pretty fancy. And he just kind of speaks with a little bit of drawl that goes, there's no doubt, absolutely no doubt in my mind that this is either a rogue Pokemon or some sort of freak accident. Those train lines have been built using the latest technology. The lines, tunnels have all been stress tested. From what communication I've had with the National Police, they do not believe that there is anything other than, this is anything other than a freak accident or a blatant terrorist attack on innocent passengers. Um... And then the video cuts back to the TV program host, and she just continues with, The Viridian and Celadon Police Departments have been working around the clock since the incident to investigate the issue. The train lines between Celadon and Viridian are expected to be closed for the next month while reconstruction and reinforcing efforts continue. A traffic report for the alternate routes will be issued on our nightly news segment at 8. Now going to Greg with the weather. <laughs> With the Kids kind of like snorts whenever he says it was just a freak accident or a terrorist attack. <laughs> sure. Sure. I'm sure that's what that was. <laughs> All right. All right. Behind you, you hear. Yeah. You be behind you, you hear uh, Milo come in. He's kind of like stretching and like rubbing back like left side of his ribs uh, looks around uh, he'll kind of jog over kid you're up yep kind of kind of fell but no worse than a train wreck you know yeah <laughs> i think i might have bruised a rib yesterday oh did you did you catch that news report just now no no i haven't i haven't actually checked the news What's up? I mean, honestly, surprised they were willing to admit that it might have been a rogue Pokemon attack, but they're also doing exactly what we thought and are trying to say there was no fault on their part. So, no surprise there, I guess. No, not really. They have to protect their interests, but (laughs) I don't think V's gonna let them get away with that. And Officer Jenna will, uh, I think she'll like what we have to say. Well, please listen. 
Up to the point where she probably finds out that V's been going behind her back all morning and... You know, but... What's the, what's the worst that could happen? But also, do you, do you think it's intentional? Like, the, the guy that was talking, his name was <laughs> Doug Hill. <laughs> do, you, do you think his parents realized what they were doing, or... Maybe... If they just did, really pulling that over because they're like, pretty rough people. Yeah, <laughs> like the the implications here yeah. are pretty brutal. They're, they, which, admittedly, he looked like he was really well dressed. He's done well for himself, so more power to him, I guess. But like that name did not help him, right? No. <laughs> I mean, maybe that adversity is what drove him to, <laughs> to you know, become whatever. I, I don't even know. He said he was wearing a suit. Important guy. I mean, <laughs> yeah, gold. It was the chairman of the uh, chief executive for the railway. So. Uh, huh. He also mentioned a potential terrorist attack, which. Well, it's yeah, a wild I mean, leap. Are there? Are there? Is that like something that happens out here and often? What, what the fuck is up with that? It not often, but you know when the use of Pokemon is restricted, then you don't really have situations in which minor people are using Pokemon. You end up with the people like we saw in the news in the train yesterday, who were you know robbing stores in can't remember the city. Saffron? Was it Saffron? I wanted to say Saffron. <laughs> In Saffron. Uh, you know, that's more or less what you get nowadays when you can't use Pokemon just for everyday life as easily. Hmm. He, he just, like, he keeps stopping mid mid conversation and just, like, looking down and he just gets, like, math brain thoughts trying to piece it all together <laughs> figure out like the right way through it understand the different perspectives and none of it really makes sense to <laughs> yeah like it, it's kind of different for kid too as he's explaining this he's got a similar like kind of lost in thought expression because kid's mom is a like studying to be a professor his dad's a breeder so he has been exposed to pokemon his entire life so the idea that the average person isn't is weird so the the fact that there's people that are potential terrorists that are using pokemon to attack is actually kind of frustrating to him yeah it frustrates milo too it's the the thing is like we knew that they were gonna blame it either on an accident something that they couldn't be blamed for or a terrorist attack they they would never admit that something that they did forced native wildlife to react in an understandable way and maybe maybe it overreacted a little bit but i don't know how else synonics can communicate aside from throwing rocks around yeah i mean i know i know a little bit about overreacting so uh, I fully understand where it's coming from. Just would be nice if you know we were equipped to not get annihilated by a boulder thrown at a train. <laughs> yeah. Well, today we get to Pallet City. Today we go find this professor. Uh, I think V said their name was Professor Acorn. We go find them. <laughs> um, we introduce ourselves. V can tell them all about acing the test. And then we can get our starter Pokemon, and then. We'll at least be able to defend ourselves. And maybe other people. Oh uh, yeah, and we could go take on gyms. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. and kid raises a hand like an index finger up like he's got a good point to make. Not get into battles in parking lots, apparently. <laughs> it still blows thing. my mind that you used people battled in parking lots and 
That's crazy. That's really... He kind of like looks down at his watch. What time is it? It's probably like 7.58. Oh, shit. All right, hold on. I gotta go get V. Uh, just wait here. And he takes off and runs to the stairs. Okay. You probably actually bump into the same girl that um, Kid ran into earlier, and you just kind of whiz past her, and she just goes, Oh! Oh, hey, I found him! <laughs> he doesn't. He just... Sorry! <laughs> goes okay. into the door. <sighs> runs up. V! 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 Gotta wake up! Come on! Time to wake up! Five more minutes. No, no, we don't We don't have five more minutes. We're supposed to meet Officer Jenna in, like, two minutes. Uh, one minute! <laughs> one minute. <laughs> come on! Come on! Come on! Ivory, help me wake, help me wake him up! Come on! <laughs> Roll a poker handling check, like a animal handling, <laughs> poker handling check to convince Ivory to help you in this endeavor. Because oh Ivory <laughs> is warm and is very comfortably nesting, so as soon as you say that, the little ears perk up and she just looks up at you and like, you know that thing that cats do when you pet them and they don't want you to? They just, she just puts a paw on your face and pushes. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Um, he... See, what did he do? Um, all right, five minutes. You got five minutes. I'll be back in five minutes. <laughs> Run downstairs. Okay. Come <laughs> mistake. But all right. He's gonna go try to see if <laughs> Officer Jenna is here and and. <sighs> Run okay. past the the girl with the headphones again. She goes. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, there he goes again. I can understand why it's difficult to find him. Okay. <sighs> okay. Um, v said five more minutes, so it's probably going to be like ten minutes. I'm going to go try to stall Officer Jenna. Uh, do you want to go try to wake him up? Uh, if if you make him bad, he's probably going to try to hit you. But I feel like you could probably handle that better than I can. So. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I mean, I can, I don't I it give doesn't really hurt. You want. Yeah, yeah, just like, give, give, give him a chance. Give, give him 10 minutes, and if he doesn't get up by then, just tip him out of the bed. <laughs> and run out the door. <laughs> mm, okay. Uh, yeah, you go outside and you do see a police cruiser parked um, over by the Pokemon that are just kind of casually sitting there. You also see Officer Jenna, who is in the front seat, but, like, not super paying attention. Technically, it's... Well, no, it would be probably 8 o'clock by now, so she kind of glances up, sees you, rolls down the window, and goes, All right, well, at least you are on time. Well, Where's the other two? Yeah, about that. Um, oh, good. So, they're they're getting dressed. <laughs> they're just getting ready. Uh, I'm, I'm just mm -hmm. an early riser. I didn't think... Uh, my mom woke me up at... And he'll just... He'll try to ramble for 10 minutes. Okay. And... <laughs> And just try to stall without saying anything of consequence. But he's just going to try and keep her attention for 10 minutes. Roll me, just for funsies, roll me a persuasion check. Okay, these are great. Myla does so good. Okay. <laughs> That's better than a 10. Better um, than a 10. <laughs> it's the highest roll tonight. I, I feel like your status as the child that was in a train accident <laughs> yesterday is getting you a little bit far. Because she stops looking annoyed at a certain point and starts looking concerned. And you can see her almost considering the idea of like is this kid okay he has been talking non-stop for like a solid five minutes <laughs> um what's kid doing is this kid okay he's gonna start making his way up <laughs> okay Bring it okay as you as you make your way up the girl turns around she goes hey i found your friend he ran back out though yeah he, uh, he does that apparently it's good. I ran into him. Appreciate the help. Okay. All right. All right. So how long has it been? Yeah, it's <laughs> been about since uh, V first got the wake up call, the first wake up call. Probably about <laughs> like five minutes. All right, good enough. Kid's gonna try to like <laughs> grab him by the leg and pull him off the bed real quick. Like. Okay. Yank. <laughs> Yoink. Um, no. I would say it would be a contested, I guess, but because you are still sleeping, V, presuming you are still sleeping, you get yeah, a. You know, is back asleep. Okay. Like, immediately. That's kind of what I figured. Uh, roll me. It would be your dexterity against, I guess, athletics to pull him off. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> you feel the tug on your ankle and you go, uh-oh, and you grab no, no. onto the side of the bed. But you end up, like, instead of grabbing the mattress, you end up actually just grabbing the blankets and you feel yourself beginning to be yanked off. I will say Ivory preemptively abandons ship <laughs> and, like, jumps out of your arms and out onto the actual mattress as you tumble down directly on top of Kit, essentially. <laughs> ah, shit. What the? You were surprisingly light, my guy. <laughs> I, was just trying to, I was just trying to get you up. I don't know if it's a surprise, but ow! Now my bruises have bruises. Ow! I'm just gonna lay here for a minute. <laughs> just like curls up in the fetal position on the floor, on the blankets. <laughs> yeah, you just hang out right here, kid. Kid's gonna grab like the corner of the blanket, just start like trying to drag him out by the blanket. I will say that at that <laughs> point, that? seeing seeing it's uh, seeing her trainer getting like basically kidnapped, Ivory will bounce I... back on, and will probably bounce directly on top of like V's shoulder and begin to paw at your face now, being like, "Come on, idiot, get up! You're being kidnapped. Do something about it." <laughs> this is fine. I'm waiting for the pain to stop. So, I mean, if he wants to drag me, at least until we get to the stairs. Okay. Please don't drag me down the stairs. Okay. And as the procession... <laughs> this, this, this kid, whoever she is, is getting, like, a, an incredible show. As she just, like, turns around, this kid comes back out, dragging a blanket with another teenager on it and an Eevee. See, I mean, all right. So if she's an influencer, and there's a, a video that goes viral of kid dragging V out, then when V posts everything on Poker Reddit later, you could do it as like, like a little chat stream, the video stream, and then you could ride on that. I will. I will say that you probably, as kid is dragging kid, you do see her pull out um, what appears to be a Rotom phone. And she clicks a button and is just watching you go all the way slowly to the elevator. <laughs> he instinctively wraps the blanket like up over his head because he has he probably has minor experience with paparazzi. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> true. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll find out. Actually, I should probably roll to see how much she gets. And Hold in. On. <laughs> and in doing so, he probably doesn't notice when we get to the stairs, so I might get dragged down the stairs. <laughs> sure. Roll me a perception oh, check with disadvantage, uh, because you have a blanket yep. over your head. <laughs> yep. Oh, good. Oh, no. <laughs> Dexterity saving throw with disadvantage. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Who needs the disadvantage? I don't understand what is going on. Okay. Wow. Um, I'm about to eat shit and die. This is going on. As you... Kid, roll me a dexterity saving throw as well. Because guess what? Okay. Uh, no. You begin to drag and See, you... I want to point out he goes down the he still slides down the rail he's just got the blanket pulled behind oh, him he kind of oh no. forgot that he kind of forgot that V wasn't like prepared so he just slid down the rail pulling him along <laughs> I will I will ask you this so for, first of all yeah kid gets on the rail and slides down and immediately you feel that instead of you dragging the blanket behind you the blanket just kind of speeds up and you just hear <laughs> As V rolls straight down the fucking elevator, yes, exactly. Uh, you take two falling damage, so congratulations oh. on your HP being even lower now. Um, and oh. I'd like you to I roll me a, I guess, yeah, roll me a dexterity check for Ivory. <laughs> <laughs> he, he does his best to, like, hold her up over his head while this happens. Yeah, yeah, she can roll with advantage if you want her to. 
Hey. Yeah. Easy. She probably jumps up onto the other railing <laughs> and slowly traverses downwards. And as you guys arrive in your very exciting pile, Nurse Joyce looks over at all three of you and goes, All right, that's it. Get out. There's, there's like a police officer waiting for you. What's going on? Like, oh seriously. God. Is that a blanket? Is that one of the blankets? Ow. You have to leave that here. That's for I'm other. Dying. <sighs> oh, for the love! I think of... I'm dying. Uh, all right, <laughs> hold on. Gets out from behind the counter, goes over to you, just kind of inspects you. Goes, what hurts? Is it a throbbing pain? Everything. Stabbing pain. <sighs> how many? How many fingers am I holding up? Uh, three. Okay. Where are we right now? <laughs> the floor. He sounds so done. <laughs> yes, indeed. The floor. Uh -huh. That I'll take that as a correct answer. And what's your name? V. That's... Yeah, alright. Sure. You're very hurt. You're very hurt. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I think your friend Milo, is... I got him. <laughs> <laughs> probably fine. Um, can, do you have a Pokeball for that, Evie? Because they should probably be inside the... Okay. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I actually just realized that uh, I went for a run earlier, and so I don't actually have my bag with me, so it sounds like they just came down the stairs. I'm gonna go grab my bag, and then I'll be right back, but they should be here soon. You, you, you better be you better be back soon! I'm not gonna wait Hold forever! And he'll just try to, like, push through the pile and up the stairs. <laughs> he'll, like, dance over and kind of, like, hop over me and, like, Morning, V! Hey, kid! Bye! Been, Bye, Officer Joyce! I've been killed. <laughs> you don't even care! Get back here. You're fine. Of course I care. <laughs> okay. Uh, you run past as there's <laughs> there's a girl here and she appears to like you run past her just as she is facing her phone and she's just saying, the wildest thing just happened. You guys have to see this. Kind of like stops and goes What what are you doing? She kinda glances over at you and goes, um, Nothing. I'm recording. Sorry, and now I have to do a retake. Sorry. All right, I'll go inside the room. That's fair. Sorry. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm just passing through. Bye. And he'll <laughs> All right. Through the room. You're gonna have to grab these stuff too. Uh, we got grab... take it. Yeah. <laughs> I think Milo or, or kid was the only one who grabbed all his equipment. Milo wouldn't have taken it for a run, <laughs> but he'll throw V's pack over one shoulder and his bag over the other, and he'll go running down. Okay. <laughs> All right. Great start to the day. <sighs> okay. All right. Uh, Mortally right. wounded. No, you're fine. Here. And he, he'll hold out a hand for you to, <laughs> to help you out. Okay. Uh, okay. Very slowly gets up. Hello. Ow. Hello. Thanks for the stay, Officer Joyce. It was comfortable. That bed was, was really nice. <sighs> I hope the elevator was less comfortable because you're not meant to sit on the railways. Please tell your friend that. He kind of like looks over. Which one? The. But it's, you know it's... what? Bo both of them. All of them. Okay. All of them. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'll tell. Everybody also, that one might have a concussion, percent. so just keep an eye on the that one. That one. The one that the EV is currently on at his head. Can you have like? A level two concussion. I don't have a concussion, V. You're fine. I might. You don't know. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's <laughs> as, as, he's, as he's fine, kid's just balling up that blanket that he pulled down. He just chucks it back up the stairs and starts following them. <laughs> Joyce is like, no, no, you have to put it <sighs> out the door. You, you have human medicine. <sighs> Yeah, and Joyce literally reaches down onto the, like, under the counter and pulls out, like, a blister pack of just two things of Tylenol, essentially, and slaps it down on the counter and goes, that's on the house. Don't come back here Thank for you. at least another two weeks, please. No promises. We just get banned from the Viridian Center 
<laughs> Meridian City Pokemon Center. Is, that's a great start to our adventure. <laughs> Temporary. Oh, I just noticed there's a person right here. How did they yeah. react to all of these shenanigans? This kid is about to look over. This kid has head. been sitting on the like the little, you know, stool over here, and has just glanced up at you and like rolled his eyes once, and went back to like surfing things on their phone. He's just he's he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> He's been like subtly watching, but doesn't doesn't care enough. All right. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> in which case you all leave the Pokemon Center and head outside, where Officer Jenna is waiting for you. And I've placed you inside the Black Void. Welcome to the Black yes. Void. The Void. <laughs> the, the Void. void. Um, but yeah. Um, as you head out there, Officer Jenna kind of waves you down, rolls down the wind, goes, Come on, get in. I don't have, I only have like the afternoon or the morning, rather. Have to get back to work in the afternoon, so we don't have that much time. If you want to go to Pallet, gotta hurry up. Get in. All right. Thank you. Sorry. And he'll head for the back seat. All right. <laughs> Do we have to sit in the bars? I don't want to sit in the bars. I think, I think. Two of us have to. There's only one seat up front. It's up to you guys. I don't yeah, know. The kid's already climbing. In. <laughs> I called shotgun yesterday. This was mine. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you take the bars off the windows? Uh, I think I'm off that easy V. No. Just... no. Yeah, they won't. They don't flip in. Sorry. <laughs> Trust me, it's safer for me if you two are back. Actually, no. It's probably safer for me if that one's in the front seat, but. You know what? Whatever. Just get in. He called shotgun. Just get in. <laughs> he called shotgun. Fine. We'll file in. Okay. Um, I will, before we get into the car, I will put Yui back in the Pokeball just in case. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, Ivor returns to her Pokeball, no problem. Um, and uh, very quickly, uh, Jenna pulls out of the parking lot and goes down the road. Now, Viridian is a relatively large city, but between Viridian and Pallet, there's not there's not a lot of stuff. There's like a stretch of forest, a nice little road, and it's a uh, pretty pleasant drive. I would say you all have, well, except for Kid, I suppose, made the drive before, so you're quite familiar with the scenery. So um, whatever it is you guys decide to do on the way over is up to you, but... I will say that probably Officer Jenna will drive mostly in silence. Um, she doesn't seem super keen on talking to you. Um, I'll kind of leave that up to you. What do you think you're doing, I guess? V immediately logs into his alternate Reddit account. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, like, kicks Milo. What? What? Oh. Okay. Um... We'll Start writing until... as he explains. Yeah, uh, we'll wait till we're like out of Viridian City, and then Milo will start with. Okay, so there are a couple things that we may have left out yesterday, and we think that you should probably know, just in case there's something in there that you should know. Um, and then he'll kind of, in as great a detail as he can. Why is going on? Did Discord cut out again? Oh. No, okay. Not for me. <laughs> uh, in as great a detail as you can, go into everything that happened. The the accident, um, finding the Pokeballs, using the Pokemon to scare off the Onyx, uh, releasing the Pokemon. Okay. Um, he, he just goes full truth vomit. Okay, so you just tell her everything, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, he's... he's kind of, I think we agreed to bring her in on the loop while V brings the world in. So, like, the right person knows, and they don't feel like they got forced, but they're still kind of getting forced. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or at least someone that we hope is the right person. Okay, okay. Really anyway. But if Kid wants to help out, he is welcome to. Uh, Milo will mm. give him chances to talk, and I figured, like, Milo's probably on the passenger side with with Kid, and V's probably sitting behind Officer Jenna. Mm -hmm. Better obscure the, uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. 
think I'll probably <laughs> yeah, he'll probably mention that V has pictures and then try to like have V show the pictures, but V probably won't give up his phone, mm. and Milo Does will he... give up at that point. <laughs> okay. Wait. All right. Uh, does Kid uh, say anything during this entire speech, or is he kind of just, kind of just letting Milo take the lead? Uh, he's just letting Milo take the lead. Milo seems like he's on top of this sort of thing, so seems like he's got it under control. If there's any questions or anything that like Kid can kind of mm-hmm. fill in the gap, or he will, but otherwise. Okay. Beans. All right. <laughs> For the majority of, yeah, for the majority of this conversation, Jenna doesn't say a lot. You see her watching you, Milo, through the rearview mirror, and she kind of takes turns between like keeping her eyes on the road, um, in a very like stiff position, like both of her hands are on the wheel, uh, you know, in the ten and two position, and is just every <laughs> once in a while glancing back at you as you recount this story. Her face doesn't really. Her face doesn't really show a lot of expression, but if you'd like to try to ascertain what she's thinking, you can roll an insight check. Though I, I would say probably if you roll Milo, it would be with disadvantage because you can't see her full face. Otherwise, Kid can also roll to see what he notices, but without the disadvantage. Yeah, I can, I'll roll with you. If I if I can't give him advantage, I'll roll with him. <laughs> that is a dirty 20 with disadvantage. Hell yeah. Wow. <laughs> Damn. You guys are the, eyes. the eyes are all you ever need. The eyes are the window to the soul. That'll, that'll teach you everything. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, okay. Here's what you notice. You see that Jenna isn't, is clearly like, hmm, yeah, damn, that's like a 22 and a 20. Both of you basically pick up on the fact that she's kind of conflicted. There's clearly things that she, that like disturb her. Um, You know, when you mentioned that you took the Pokeballs and began to like battle the Onyx with the Railroad Pokemon, she almost seems like she's going to interject, but then decides, you know, thinks better of it and doesn't say anything at all. Um, every once in a while she almost looks like she's going to grimace, um, for example, when you guys describe the onyx nest, but then she instead, like, forces her face into, like, a poker face. Um, for lack of a better word, she seems conflicted. She's not totally, like, on, on your side in the sense of, like, right, you know, there's no righteous indignation of, like, oh no, how could they? But there's also none of, like, this scoffing that would come with just, you know, writing you off, essentially. Um, You think that she's probably thinking about how to react to this as you're kind of telling her the situation. On V's side, since you mentioned that, yeah, you write up a couple of paragraphs about the train wreck. um, Yeah. hmm. He also blasted on, like, Twitter and... Ruffler. Any other... Yeah. What? (laughs) Here's what I want to know. How much of a social? I can't believe we're doing this in a D and D game. How much of a social media presence does V have? Is what I want to know. Uh, because like I want to say he has a decent amount, but like, would he use that though? Would he use his? Who he is? Yeah, who he is, or not? Because with that comes some. <laughs> some complications, mm-hmm. but you know. <laughs> Just the- Fuck you, Dad, on social media a lot. <laughs> I kind of want to know what you think, and then I'll have you roll. Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah this is pretty, I guess, pretty important, and he feels pretty strongly about it. So he'd probably use, actually, use his his main. Active accounts, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. His okay. main. His main that links him to the gym leader in Viridian, essentially. Yeah. Okay. 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 With that in mind, I want you to roll me a persuasion check as a general, like how well you construct this tweet and how 
much traction it gets, like, or ruffle, I guess. 18. Okay. It's a ruffle. That's a ruffle. <laughs> Damn. Okay. That'll ruffle some feathers. That will ruffle. That's ironically what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, no, it's not immediate, but yeah, you uh, type out a tweet. You know how to get people's attention for lack, you know, for better or for worse. You have been dealing with media attention for a while and you know how to do this. And you're pretty sure that this will catch on. Um, especially given the news coverage that this train wreck has been getting uh, throughout. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you feel pretty confident that it will catch some attention, maybe not immediately, but at least within the next few days, we'll check back on the, in on that. Um, now, as for Officer Jenna, as you finish typing all of this up and finally look up and tune back into the conversation, you realize that your friend Milo has just finished basically <laughs> bearing his soul. Uh, all the beans. Yep, spilling all, all the beans. beans. Um, she's kind of silent for a long, long moment. And then she goes, All right. So, do you care? It's my job to care about these things, and that is uh, quite a lot of details that you left out yesterday. Now, I do have to ask why you didn't tell me about any of this yesterday. We didn't know if we could trust you. How were we supposed to know if you were a good cop? What if you're a bad? I we honestly just didn't hmm. know who to trust at all. I mean, using the railroad's Pokemon alone could have gotten us in a lot of trouble. And it will. Alone releasing them. Self defense. I will say that it will. And um, look, God, I can't believe I'm. Look, here's what I'm supposed to tell you. I'm supposed to tell you that accidents like this happen, rogue Pokemon are a thing, and what I'm not supposed to tell you is that, look, Sylph, who owns the railroad company, has a lot of pull. So if you're just going to go running around trying to get them in trouble, I don't think I need to tell you what is going to happen to you. No, V says as he looks back down to his, on his phone and adds another tweet that is saying <laughs> that still owns the railroad. <laughs> <laughs> Recent news has brought to my attention that the railroad is owned by Silco. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not, yeah. Um, Probably not anything, like, unknown, but he... He'll, he'll go, like, looking around for things to to link okay. other, like, maybe suspicious accidents okay. with the railroad <laughs> or still. Okay. Um, Milo kind of, at, at her words, like, shies in. It's like, I mean, it might. It definitely might. And they... <sighs> excuse me. They are powerful, but what, what I saw, what happened to that baby Onyx, I... What you saw that. was a Pokemon that was acting rogue, something that happens all the time. I, look, I, I understand you found an onyx egg, and yes, it is very sad that something happened to it, but you're going to have to fight... Uh, I don't even... I can't believe I'm t saying this to you. Look, adults have already tried getting involved in these weird legal battles that have been going on. These things happen when Pokemon and people interact with each other, which is why we have so many laws in place. Pokemon go rogue all the time, more so now than before, which is why we need people to not interact this much, and which is why we have various safety standards in place when people battle or go out. But... Uh, <sighs> just a rogue Pokemon, though, you know... I have feelings that if someone's child was locked in a tunnel and barricaded up, they might be angry and attack not without you know, reason. Sure. But you are going to have to prove to the entire world that this is somehow directly linked to Sylph or at least the railway line affecting it. And they yeah, will be doing their best to put the spin on it that 
it was just Pokemon acting like Pokemon. We have plenty of instances where Pokemon have just acted violently towards people, which is, you know, why it's dangerous. You have all just become Pokemon trainers. You should, well, I suppose you've just become Pokemon trainers, so you probably mm -hmm. haven't seen what I've seen, but sometimes it just happens. They're wild. They're... You're alive. Anything alive is going to protect its children. Yes, and humans are alive too. Humans were on the train. I've pulled up to a house on fire because a magmar got too angry and people perished inside. It's, uh, this is so complicated. Uh, look, just <laughs> how do I even explain this? And at this point, like, the police radio interrupts all of you, which... It's been pretty quiet for most of the ride, but now suddenly there's like a little bit of static and um, there's like a little, oh God, now I'm going to have to do police radio. Hold on. How do I do it? It's like <laughs> 98 to 102 update on case three. We have updates on chance lane accident, detained one suspect, another female, pink hoodie, float on foot, possible relation to type 19, 102, can you assist? And then there's like an answer like 102 to 98, code seven. Copy that. And there's just like another awkward silence where she just like drives and doesn't answer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you need to get that? She goes, <laughs> no. Oh. And then immediately after you say that, it goes 98 to 34. We have a 488 case three, Chance Lane requesting backup. And then she finally, you know, picks up the radio and goes, uh, this is 34. Copy that. 10 7. And then the same voice as before goes, 98 to 34, 10, 9. She goes, oh, this is 34, 10, 7. Ask someone else. Comes <laughs> back again. 98 to 34, can you assist? This is 34, I'm busy. Type 19, Jenna, right up your alley, literally. They just broke apart a cave fighting ring in pewter. I think we're getting the spillover down here. Arrested one of them, one got away. Ksh and then she just kind of pauses, glances very pointedly at all of you, like in the rearview mirror, and then over to Kid, and then just goes, Copy. I'll check it out when I get back. 10-12. And then hangs up the radio and, like, turns down. <laughs> There's no rush. We can do a ride along. Yeah. I can call Mom, let her know that we'll be a couple hours No, later. no. We need to get that now. No, absolutely not. I do not need to get that now. I'm driving you to Pallet. We're almost there. Thankfully. Oh, well, Where do I drop you off? Well, what'll happen to the Type 19 without you? <laughs> You're all that stands in the way between the world and Type 19, right? <laughs> Who? Oh, for the love of God, I wish they. Oh, this is his fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so if you go into Pallet City, um, the. Whatever, I can't think of it. Name for an apartment complex, but he, he will lead her to the apartment <laughs> complex. It's okay. his house. All right. Um, you head well, back. He looks up police codes and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, B is looking up the police codes to see if he can put it together what they were calling about. Uh, roll me an investigation just for fun. Damn. <laughs> um, what you discover <laughs> is that um oh how much would i give you damn that's a lot you know that the first officer they paged uh, claimed to be like out eating which is why they didn't get it which is why they paged jenna and you also know that um you know that basically they were asking about like a petty theft of some sort mm. like it was some sort of um some sort of thievery going on um, yeah. You. What else are you looking for? Like, is there anything specific, or you don't find anything for Type uh, Nineteen that doesn't come back for anything? Okay. Yeah, he just wanted to know, like, putting it into actual words, what they were saying. He does also sit and think about for a minute. They said somebody in a pink hoodie. Mm -hmm. He thinks maybe it was the girl that they saw. You think but, back yeah, on okay. it, but she doesn't actually. You you have both seen her several times now, so I'm just gonna post her art in the Discord right now. Um, okay. Because I know she had pink headphones, but I don't know if she had pink hoodie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Just a, he's had some dope ass skitty looking headphones. Yeah, right. Her hoodie was not pink. It was actually like a yellow okay. bun. So you think that might not have been it, but who knows? People change clothes. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. He right. just wanted to know for his own personal sake, so he doesn't say anything. Okay. Um, in which case, the rest of the ride, you're getting out uh, towards Pallet Town, which is a pretty large city, but it's pretty spread out. So there is, like, um, a general main city section, but then there's also, like, suburbs. Um, and then there's something that's called Old Pallet, which is where the old, like, oak slab is, and it's also the closest to the actual coast. Um, but you guys are heading towards Milo's, uh, mom's apartment. So we are actually going to probably, yeah, we're probably just gonna go head over there. Um, do 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 Is, uh, is Kate back yet? I am here. Okay, cool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, very fair. Um, in which case, uh, yeah, you guys pull up to the apartment, and it's up to you. Are you just getting out, saying any parting words? What do you think? Uh, Milo will sit and let me and Kid probably get out as soon as the car stops. Okay. If they wanted to. You, V, V can't get out. You and V can't get out mm -hmm. because you're in the oh, back. <laughs> you have yeah. to be. So he just sits there and like texts on his phone. Okay. All right. Uh, Officer Jenna kind of pauses for a bit, glances a kid, glances back over her shoulder at you all slowly, and just goes, "Look, your heart's in the right place, but." Just let the adults take care of this one, all right? I'll I'll talk to my commanding officer and see what I can find out about this. Maybe there's you somebody really who think can. They will? She kind of glances at you and she goes, "You want the hopeful answer or the honest answer?" I mean, I I know the answer. So, go for hopeful. Go for it. <laughs> If nobody's interested, I'll look into it myself. How does that sound? Thank you. That's... I mean, that's all I can ask. I just, just would have felt bad you, you gave us right all the way back to Viridian and then all the way here, and I, I, I felt like you deserved to, you know, at least, no, you seemed like you'd be trustworthy, uh, knowing, and, and we don't expect it to change anything. But, you know, we just got to keep trying, even if it doesn't work. Right. It might work eventually. Oh, that's what we need. Vigilantes. Yep, definitely. Okay. All right. That, that, was that vigilantes? I don't, I don't know if I was... Could be. <laughs> Not yet. Please, no, please don't. Wait. No, please don't make it into even more thing. Oh, God. Oh, what have I done? Uh, All right. Um, he kind of, like, pulls the door. How do we get out? I let Let's you out. Lock. All right, yeah, get out. Mentions the kid and then uh, gets out from the other side and unlocks it. Uh, presses a button. Is your mom going to us for being escorted home in a police car? No. Um, I mean, sh she's probably going to, you know, freak out like she always does whenever we get into trouble. But, you know, it, it won't it, it won't be. It'll be bad. I talked to her this morning. I kind of... I think I smoothed things over a bit, but you know what to expect. <laughs> he doesn't know what to expect, and there's no way I can prepare him in the <laughs> minute it's going to take us to ride the elevator up. So oh no, he just looks over at kid and gives him a thumbs up. Have fun. Uh, As you're saying this, you're going to see kid has been messing with the police radio this entire time. The <laughs> second she got out to let them out, she picked the radio up and it's been fiddling with it. She immediately looks back down and goes, all right, and now you, what are you doing? Get, get, what the, oh, this is the last time I do this. Get out. Shoo, shoo. Get out of here. 
just kind of like waves you away, shuts the door again as soon as you're out. She kind of shoves you out forcefully. And then immediately you hear the engine start up again, and she just kind of shakes her head and drives away. <laughs> Thanks, Officer Jenna. He shouts down the road as she drives away while he waves. Okay. Let's go eat lunch because I have not eaten all day and that was like a three hour car ride. I am starving. Yeah. Why didn't we eat before we left? Well, you didn't eat because you woke up as we were leaving. I didn't eat because I forgot. <laughs> I got and distracted I got... looking for him. So I that's kind of on me. Thought it was good. It'd be rude to be, you know. Hey, Officer Jenna, you know, can you take an extra half an hour out of your day so you can feed us this morning? No, no, Damn, I should have no. asked. It wasn't, it, I didn't want to even bring it up because I knew you would have, and that, that wasn't. This is us, like, walking through the lobby, heading towards the, the elevators and heading up to probably the like right. eighth floor of a 20th floor building or something. Um, it's not that large necessarily, but, um... Actually, sorry, I'm stalling because I just realized that I made an apartment for you, Milo, but I didn't actually make a token for your mom. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, I don't have a mom. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where's your mom? Hold on. This is so sad. This is me scouring. Oh my freaking god, Google. Let me log in. Why? That's uh, 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 Milo will ride the elevator. All right, so kid, um, my mom is awesome. A lot. She's great, but she yeah she could be a lot. Um, uh, my my dad, he travels a lot. He's never really home, and we we hear from him. Uh, he, he usually comes back once or twice a year and take me out camping or on some adventure, show me some new tricks or some cool new Pokemon that he caught while traveling in Galar or some other really far off place um but he's he's usually gone a lot and i think i think mom's worried that i'm gonna be gone a lot too but i am and i don't know how to make that okay so if she just seems a little extra that's that's probably what's up probably doesn't help she's that you're going through this and we just got out of a train wreck huh no. That's probably going to ratchet things up for you. Yeah, I, I should have called her yesterday. <laughs> She's happy about that. I immediately should have called her, but I, I figured the police would kind of let her know. That didn't make things better. Um, yeah. But I that, that part's been smoothed over, so hopefully it's all, uh, it's all good. She's a great cook, and, and I did tell her to set an extra plate that we were bringing a new friend. All right, that is enough. So uh, this actual this actual apartment, <laughs> I'm fast, yeah. <laughs> and I have I have a lot of art that I can just reuse. Um, Hell yeah! So basically, this apartment is relatively small. It only has about like eh, four or five floors. Um, it's set kind of in the back, so uh, your window, some of it overlooks the actual like forest and the coastline. The palette is on, so it's it's pretty good. Um, but the apartment itself is quite small. Let me see if I actually... Did I cover... Did I fog any areas? Hold on, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna fog all of this space up. As you guys fog. come in. Fog. No, <laughs> reveal. Reveal. No. <laughs> God. Why does it want to reveal? I want to... No, it doesn't reveal. There we go. Now it reveals, and now I can take you onto the new map.